Hello and welcome to the channel. I am that Evernote guy, providing actionable content that you yourself can use to make your Evernote better and better. Well, let's start. What have I done with my Evernote? Why do I think it's so special? I've had a very good look around the internet, YouTube and anywhere else I can go to see what other people have done with Evernote, taken what I think are the best ideas, apps and services, combined them together and built myself a system that is just right for me, but I think it's generic enough that it could be right for anybody. And I'd like to take you through it. First things first, two core systems that I have used and that I've got subscriptions to that you will need to make this work. Don't panic, they're super cost effective and super easy to use. The first one is Task Clone, which does exactly what you think it might do. It clones tasks. And I use that as my little task bot to go and pull out tasks from Evernote notes and do something with them. The second one is Filterize, which is a far more comprehensive service as Task Clone, but Task Clone is just as important. And Filterize allows me to build lots of different bots that do different things, such as classify content, add tags to content, move content around, change the titles of content, all sorts of different things. I've built a whole bunch of little bots that all do these services. When you combine these all together, you can start to build something really quite unique for you. And I'd like to step you through that. So let's just kick straight off and I'll show you how Task Clone works. I'm now going to go straight into my Evernote, pop myself down there. I've cleaned everything out so you don't see all my personal work stuff. And I'm gonna start a new note over here blank note thank you very much i'm going to use a template you don't have to use a template i'm just showing you for the purpose of this example and i've got a fancy meeting template that i like to use and i put the person's name in there that's my name and let's pretend we're meeting joe blogs okay and we've got some notes great opportunity i'll spell check later now let's get on to the important bit the actions the first action okay speak to joe about our new product and second one could be let's have a think arrange a demonstration of product with joe's team okay now this is where my robot can come in I'm gonna tag this with TC, which stands for Task Clone, and then Task Clone will be activated and will come along and look at this note and go, hang on a second, I need to do something here, and it will strip out these two action tasks here and put them back into the inbox. So you should see this happening live, it can take a minute or two, and there you go, bang. You see them just go in there straight away. So here's the first one, EN, speak to Joe about our new product. EN stands for Evernote, and that's just indicating that it's come from Evernote. And the second one should go in there in a second. I didn't actually title this note, which is a little bit naughty of me. Pretend meeting with, with Joe, there we go. Okay, then something else is gonna to happen to these uh, notes as the second one's just come in there. Something else is going to happen to them because I've got another robot which is going to come and tidy them up. I don't want pipe en pipe at the start of the title and I don't want pipe at the end of the title either. So another robot will come in and tidy those titles up for me. I don't have to do anything. That will just happen. And it's also I've enabled task clone to tag these as tasks. So if we click on speak to Joe about our new product, we should see that it's tagged as task. And I didn't, ah, you also saw it just change there. I did not tag that as task. I got task clone to do that for me. And because I've tagged it as task, I was able to use the other service to run a couple of robots on it. One of them is to create the task template. So it's got the time here that the task was created and it's got a date and a comment. So this is ready for me to use as an individual task on its own. And I'll use the date shortcut there and put need to get onto this soon and you'll notice it's also cleaned up the pipe en pipe and the pipe at the end of the title and it's put a little white dot there and i'll tell you what the white dot's for it's all part of my master emoji system for quick representation of what content is so that tells me in my system and you can create any system you like that 
because it's got a white dot in there, it's a t an unallocated task uh, or an untouched task. It's brand new. It's white. It's not been touched yet. We've captured it. It's in our inbox and we can do stuff through to it and we can start to put it through our task management system, which will be the next stage. Finally, I might want to call this a note. You might think I'm crazy for calling a note a note. It's Evernote, but that will also automatically, one of my robots will pick that up and add a little emoji to the start of that. So I know what all my content is. As you start to build up hundreds and I do 20 to 30 notes a day, having the little emoji at the front of it telling you quickly reference what it is and that you've actioned it is real game changer in my opinion right let's go back to full screen there we go and we're going to finish off there for this first session very quick taster of what i've done to automate the process of capturing tasks out of a meeting note and then back into evernote so you can use them as individual tasks Loads more to cover, but I hope you like that as a starter. Thank you very much.